Welcome to the Create What You Speak podcast. Welcome to the Create What You Speak podcast. My name is Sloan Fremont, and I'm your host. So this is Join it. me this as we have a real life here. discussion on Today how to change your life about by changing your thoughts. the old and getting clear on the new. Remember, question everything. Um, Trust yourself and find. I mean, we had truth. another fucked up year, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, I was hoping we would all it would all be good and and things might quote go back to normal, but. Uh, I think I'm finally coming to the realization that that will never happen. And actually, I think I spent a lot of time this year getting over that. Um, I don't know if you feel that way, where you had to actually grieve some of the old parts of our old life. And I felt like this year I finally was able to to let go of some of those old things and realize that I was doing these things that you know, that I didn't know why I was doing them because I didn't enjoy doing them. And I I talked a lot about that over the years, especially over the year, especially this summer. Um, But I thought now would be a good reminder to talk about some of those things, leaving behind some of those old things and some of those things that happened, but then also getting really clear and focusing on the new, on what we want for 2022. What do we want that to look like? And so can see my new scenery today. I have my, uh, if you're watching the video, I have my Charlie Brown Christmas tree up and then my other lighted tree. Um, I don't really decorate for any sort of holidays or anything, but I have managed to keep this Charlie Brown tree with me forever. So I thought it'd be fun to to put that up today. Um, but yeah, so leaving the old and, and getting clear on the new, I was thinking back over the year about with the podcast, for example, some of the bigger moments this year for the show. And I think the two big things were doing videos and doing interviews. I mean, which have actually led to other things for me, which have been amazing, but the, I never wanted to do videos because I never wanted it to be about me. I never wanted somebody to be like, I don't know. It just, you know, how things became like on social media where people became these different versions of themselves after they were on social media and putting out videos and doing all this stuff. Right. And I just never wanted that to happen. I always wanted it to be about the message, but things change. I change, um, the way I look at things change. And so I decided this year to start putting out videos and I I've, I've loved doing that. I feel like that's a, a better way to connect. I feel like, um, people like watching videos sometimes versus listening to things. And so that's been a really positive, uh, for the show. And then the other thing was doing the interviews. I mean, I talked for pretty much four years straight on my own every episode. And so bringing in different people for interviews, I really, really love doing that. Like there is so much I learned in the process. I mean, from this year, we talked with, um, oh man, so many people, Erhard Vogel was my first interview. We talked, I talked with Wayne, um, Dr. Wayne, uh, one of my recent favorite ones was Eaton um, Ilfeld, where we did the the synchronicity oracle. Um, so many great people this year that I've talked to, and being able to have those conversations with other people to me felt so expansive. Right? Obviously, it gave you a different perspective other than mine, but having these conversations, not having any idea where they were going to go, right, were so fun and so amazing. And I felt like there was so much good that came out of that, that I didn't really expect to happen. So I really love both of those. I think I, um, I'm actually really proud of myself for, for doing both of those things. Um, I also this year got an investor for my invention. I know I talked about that a while ago. I haven't really talked about it lately because honestly, there's been nothing to talk about. Inventions take forever. Patents take forever. Um, but we're going through the process of getting that to market. So once that's ready, hopefully in early 2022, I'll be talking about that more, but that was a big step for me too, to actually realize that other people believed in my ideas. Other people believed in me and were willing to give me money to go in, to see my idea come to life. I mean, that was, that was a big step. And that was actually somewhat hard for me to accept I talked about this when I interviewed Christine, Uh, she did the, she invented the kind cup and we talked about how that feels like you have to, the, the level of belief you have to have in yourself to put something out into the world. And then when other people start coming in, right. So you don't feel, you know, my concern was like, what if, what if it doesn't work? What if these people lose their money? Right. And all this stuff. And, and yeah, that's possible. Anything is possible, <laughs> but the positive is also possible, possible too. And so getting myself to a place where I could believe in myself and allow other people to believe in me was a huge thing for me this year. Huge. 
And I'm sure you had similar things. If you look back over the years that where you had some real big highlights where you surprised yourself, you were proud of yourself. You were, um, something turned out maybe that looked terrible on the, at first glance, but ended up being one of the better things that happened to you. Uh, I think we've probably all experienced those things this year, even in the midst of all the fucked up chaos that we had it, it, things, positive things did come out of it. And, you know, we can sit here and rehash all the negative things. Um, I try not to do that on the show. There's enough people out there doing it that uh, I don't want to contribute to that. I'm trying to do the other side of things where yes, I'm acknowledging shit's fucked up. And, um, there's a lot of craziness going on, but in the midst of that, how can we stand in our own power? How can we stand in our own um, space and see that we have choices that probably look a lot different than they used to, but we still have choices in this. And so, um, that's been, uh, that's, that's all, that's been the focus of the show really from when I started. And, and again, it's shifted as things have changed over these, these past two years, but, um, so yeah, thinking back over that and looking at things in your life that over the past year that maybe have surprised you, I think it's worth doing because when I was making my list for this, the show, um, there was a lot that I had forgotten about. So one of the other big things this year I, I talked about before my boyfriend getting deployed uh, to Kuwait for nine months and he actually left in 2020, end of 2020, but got back this year. And then um, we split up and got back together and Honestly, I don't know where it's going to go. Um, I would like to think I have control. I would like to think I have it all planned out. I know, but I don't. And finally, I'm at a point where I'm okay with that. Um, I'm more focused on taking it one day at a time, one step at a time, rather than letting the fear run the show. Because if there's one thing I'm so sick of that I am leaving behind is letting fear run the show as it as it relates to relationships for me. I, I'm done. That's we're done. Like I actually have been setting it an intention recently to um, cut that energetic thing I have going on there. Right. Let it go. It's, it's done. It's, it's over with. I, I'm <laughs> no more, <laughs> no mass. I'm done. We're, we're, we're through. So um, yeah, I don't know where that's going to go. And I'm like, I, I feel like I, when I talked about the times that um, prior to moving here, um, I always felt like I was free falling. Like I didn't have a net and I was just falling through the air. Like, like my feet were out from under me and I was just falling through the air. And that's actually how I feel right now with him. Um, I have no clue and um, I'm okay with that for once. And I think that free falling feeling that we feel sometimes when we feel out of control or we don't know what is going to happen, our, our instinct is to stop it, make sure, stop what's happening, close it off. I want to get back on my two feet. So I feel grounded and I feel like I, you know, I'm in control and I know what's going on, but I know for a fact when I moved and I changed my life. And if you haven't listened to those shows, go back to the very beginning. I talked about this a lot. Um, that was one of the best ways that I allowed myself to get what I wanted was to go through that free falling process and let myself do the next logical step, whatever that is not trying to think 20 steps ahead. What is the next logical step? What feels right? What is the next thing that feels right? And so that's the approach I'm taking with him. And so we'll see. So um, you know, there's a lot of other things like, you know, I'm sure if you look back over your life, um, this last year, just how far you've come. It doesn't, maybe it didn't feel that way in the moment because of everything we've been going through, but we have a lot to be proud of for ourselves, for what we've been through. We have a lot to be grateful for, for our own awakening or the revealing that we've been able to see things for what they are. Um, it's not been easy. And like I said, there's a, for me, there was a grieving process for it all, but we're no longer living lives that are sleeping. We're no longer sleeping through our days, through our lives. We're aware, we're awake. If you're listening to this, you're aware and awake. And so with that comes a readjustment, a shifting, a, I get to make different choices. I get to do things different. And in the beginning, it feels messy and ugly and bad. And I want to go back. I just want my old life. I just want to go back. That's how I was at the beginning of the year. But another area we can free fall into and maybe not know all the answers, not have all the 
control that we feel like maybe we did in our old lives or feel like we have all the answers. Um, maybe this free falling is what we bring into the new year, this, this free falling. And what I mean by that is just letting go, letting your heart guide you. Let the next logical thing be what your heart tells you and what you feel, not in our head, in our heart, right? Feeling in our body, right? You know that feeling when you feel, when something feels right and being willing to go with that, even as crazy as it sounds, as impossible as it seems. I don't have all the answers. I don't know how it's going to work. We don't have to. When we free fall and we trust, which has been a difficult for me, which has been a difficult thing for me too, but trusting the universe, trusting the process, trusting that there's more to this life than showing up in having two fucked up years and just being like, well, that's it. That's the way it's going to go. No, I, I, I refuse to believe that there's, I believe something better is coming on the other side. I don't know when or how or any of the answers to that, but that's what I finally come to terms with that I've chosen to believe. I'm not going to believe the fear anymore. I, I'm done with the programming with the, the, uh, the, the spell that's put on us all, right. The negative energy that's, that's put on us all to feel like we're, we're not enough, or we're never going to be able to have what we want, or, um, you know, worrying about money or finances or the relationship or the, the way we look our body, right. You know, all of this stuff, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with that. And I refuse to live under the spell anymore. So maybe you're at that point too. And maybe that's something to consider as you, as you move forward to 2022. Like what you hear so far? Take what you've learned and invest in yourself with the Create What You Speak Academy. Visit createwhatyouspeak.com to learn more. Now back to the show. I was thinking about that, about, so what, what, what does that mean then? What do I want to, how do I want to look at the new year? How do I want to look at, how do I want to show up in the new year? Maybe that's a better way to put it. And there were two big things that I was thinking about and well, actually three, the the third one is kind of a smaller one. Um, So I'll talk about that one first. When we talk about leaving the old and getting clear on the new, leaving the old, the first part of that, something I've done recently that I think was so helpful and so simple was getting rid of irritants in my life. And I'm talking about things that were like reminders of this old version of myself that I no longer was. So for me, that were, there were pictures around my house of people I wasn't really in contact with anymore. Not that I'm not friends with them, but they were from a previous life. And I didn't really see myself going back to that life, not throwing the pictures away, just changing them out, putting new pictures in. Um, I hated curtains in my living room, five fucking years. I've hated these damn curtains but they were up. And every day I would look at them in my living room and think to myself, I hate these damn curtains. So guess what? I got rid of the curtains and I got new ones that I actually really, really like. And so when I'm talking about getting rid of irritants, it's like these reminders of these things, like maybe it's reminders of the old, like I said, or maybe it's something that just so fucking annoying that you're like, I can't like get this away from me. And I'm telling you, when you do this, when you start doing this with these little things, like, like I said, something as simple as curtains, changing out pictures, um, rearranging furniture, right. Um, throwing away socks that have holes in the bottom of them, right. Like getting rid of that kind of stuff is so freeing. So it's, there's, it's such small, subtle things, but when you do 10 of those things, you, you've stopped introducing the same repetitive irritants in your life on top of all the other irritants that we currently deal with as we move into whatever the, whatever is next for us. Right. So we have these irritants in the outside world that we can't control, but then we have irritants in our home. We have irritants in our space, in our car, in, um, in our yard, you know, whatever it is for you. So getting rid of those irritants are, is a great way to leave the old so that you can clear some room for the new that's coming in. And so that that leads me to the second part of of the title for this show of leaving the old and and getting clear on the new. And so I I was thinking of this part as getting clear on the new. as almost like a coin, like two sides of a coin, right? Because obviously when we get clear on, on what the new, what's coming in, right? The new year, and you don't even have to do this. You're not listening to this at, um, before the new year, you can do this anytime you could do this 
at the beginning of the month, the beginning of a week, beginning of a day, right? However you want, this is not limited to a new year's type of activity, but there's this part of getting clear on how we're going to show up. Who are we energetically? I used to talk about this on the show called, I called it your come from energy. What energy are you coming from to start your day to when you um, interact with someone, when you pick up the phone, whatever you're doing, whatever your activity is, your come from energy determines, or I don't, I'm not going to say it fully determines, but it's a big part of your interaction with whatever you're dealing with. And so making the decision to show up differently, your come from energy is different. You're going to start having different experiences. And so this two side of the coin is one side of it is standing like deciding that part of you, who you want to be, right? Are you a person who no longer tolerates things that you don't like, are you, are you done with living a fake life? (laughs) I just did a show on that about um, the fake life is over. Then the real one can begin. So let's say you're, you're living a, you feel like you're living a fake life, right? You're doing all these things. that isn't you anymore, but you're still going through the motions of it. Okay. So stopping that act, that fakeness, stopping that. But then on the other side of that, it's standing in your power as you go through the shift, the changes, the chaos, the uncomfortableness of going into something new. So we have on the one side, we have the thing that we want. So let's say in the fake life example, I no longer want to hang out with certain people, let's say. Okay. I don't feel like I align with him, let's say. Okay. So the one side is, okay, I've made a decision. I'm showing up differently. I'm, I'm eliminating things that don't really fit in my life anymore. But then the other side of that is standing in your power when you do it, right? It's being able to stand up and, and stick by your choices, right? Be true to yourself of what you've decided. So when I, if I decide I don't want this person in my life anymore, then that maybe means that standing up, the flip side of that might mean, um, having a conversation with the person, or it might be not having a conversation and ignoring the person, whatever the situation is. But there's there's this two-sided part of things that are deciding what that new is energetically, what that's going to be for you, but then also standing in your power in that new energetic version of you. So using your words, your words are powerful, right? We talk about this all the time on the show that your words are powerful. Your intentions are powerful, right? Setting the intention that this is it. This is the line in the sand for me. This is how this is going to go. This is what I want going forward, whatever that is. And we could talk about, it could be the, the house, the car, the relationship, the, whatever it is, the job, whatever, but none of that comes unless you're energetically in the space to allow it to happen. So you have the two sides of it. You have the, the, the wanting the new, getting clear on whatever the new is for you. And then it's being able to stand in that new space, in that new energy to do the thing that you say you want to do so you can have what you want. So no more of us being wishy-washy or showing up these fake versions of ourselves, or doing things that make us unhappy or that we're, you know, or living in fear, right? Living in this fear, I'm going to lose my job because I'm not getting a, you know, and so um, that's done. Like that's over, right? But there's two sides of that we have to remember. The, the, the deciding and getting clear on the new and then also being able to stand in our power enough to let the new take hold. So, It's, I, I, and I think that that's that second side of things, the standing in our power, the standing in your space, like, stand, like, you know, we talked about free falling and, and falling through the air, not really knowing what, you know, how it's going to happen and, and the control, you know, and all this stuff that we want to, this, the illusion of control, I guess, that we, we makes us feel more comfortable, but when we don't know, it's okay to not know, but it's also okay to like, stand in your power of not knowing, stand in that space of, okay, I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't have it all figured out, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. And getting up day after day after day and making that choice day after day after day to 
stand in that belief, stand in your own personal energetic space of this is what I want. This is what I'm going to go after. And that's kind of how it's going to be. <laughs> so there's at the beginning at the early podcast that I did early on, you can go back and listen to a lot of those where I talked about this kind of stuff. Where I talked about getting information, like having, like when I moved here and how everybody got information and things just lined up and everything just worked. I can tell you when you do this, when you, when you pick up this momentum of this energetic space of being clear, leaving the old, right. Getting rid of those irritants or those things that aren't really serving you, whatever they are for you. And they, the, even the small things matter. I'll, I'll tell you they do, but getting really, yeah, this is how this is going to go. This is what I want my life to be and feeling that first and then okay, then I want the job or the car, you know, thinking about that almost secondary, because those are just the, those are the things. And we all know you can have the things, but if the things aren't, the things will never make you as happy as getting yourself right, getting yourself in alignment, listening to your, your heart, listening to your, your gut telling you whatever that thing is that you should or shouldn't do, right? That, that there was no item in this world will ever satisfy your wanting to have that connection with yourself or you're wanting to have that, that space soothed within you. Right. So that's why I think that is so important to consider and think about moving into 2022 instead of, I want the, the item, the house, the car, you know, whatever the job, I think the, having the energetic alignment, getting clear on, on, um, what that is for you and standing in that space unmoved. Like I picture like there's a meme where this guy's standing in a storm, like a rainstorm and he's got the American flag and he's holding it up. And he's just like, like, like standing in that storm, but he's, 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 he's standing firm in it. And that's how we have to be in our own lives. I think that that's, that to me is the catalyst for the rest of the things that we want. So I'm going to leave you today with really like one thought. So if you were to stand in your power, what would that look like? Like, what would that be for you? Is it being more vocal? Is it, is there an action that you're putting off? Is there a decision you're putting off? Is there a, um, is there something whatever the thing is, first thing most likely that you're thinking about when we're talking, when I'm mentioning this, whatever the thing is, maybe that's something you can take a look at and, and see what you can do to stand in your power. Cause I think that's really what we have to remember that we can do this no matter how chaotic the world is, no matter how, how many things keep coming at us, we can still do this and we can choose to have our own power stand in that power, acknowledge that power and not let anybody else get in our way. It's all within our choice. So that's what I was thinking about this week as we wrap out, wrap up 2021 and move into 2022 and really leaving behind the old and getting really clear on the new. So I hope this episode gave you some ideas to think about some things to consider. If you're somebody who likes to do end of the year or new year's Eve, you know, intentions or, or rituals or something, I hope this this at least makes its way into what you think about as you move out of 2021 and into 2022. All right. So that's it um, for this episode. Remember, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, go to sloanfremont.com. You can sign up on the right-hand side and that's where you'll get notified any, of any new podcast episodes. I also have a Telegram channel. Um, if you click in the show notes. I've linked to the, all my social medias in the show notes, but the telegram channel is actually growing pretty good. We have a good group in there, uh, lots of conversation. So I would love to have you in our telegram group. Um, and yeah, let's see. Oh, the last thing, remember my create what you speak Academy. If you haven't taken a look at that, at that lately, um, please do. There is a personal awakening map waiting for you there. It's free. You can download it, use it how you want. That will also be a great way to help you plan um, your intentions for 2022. It's a little worksheet that helps you kind of think through all those things and go through that. So be sure to get that. Um, it's free and I'll link to that in the show notes as well. All right. So that is it. We're closing out 2021 and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings for all of us. Mm -hmm.